The Court of State, the Quebec Rental Board, is supposed to be an objective, level playing field. Its mandate states that its core values are impartiality and neutrality. As an independent tribunal, it is obliged to respect these parameters. In fact, the Rental Board is not a level playing field. The Rental Board discriminates against tenants. This symptomatic discrimination has a serious impact on tenants like Josephina, who waited for many months for her hearing, forced to live in terrible conditions while she waited. December 2008, when I first moved into that place, and the landlord had told me that there was a hole in the kitchen ceiling, but he had promised me that he would fix the problem as soon as possible. After a month, there's nothing happened, and it's not fun that every time I came home at night, when I opened the door, the floor was flooding because the hole from the kitchen ceiling was constantly leaking. Water was constantly leaking that I don't know if the water is clean or not because on top of my ceiling, it was the toilet on the second floor because I was living in the basement. And then finally, after eight months, my friend told me to take him to the rental board. So in this case, in my situation, I spent money, my time, my effort because of this horrible that was happening in my place. And then, since I opened the file 2009, I received the hearing date after two years and five months. Josephine's case, unfortunately, is not unique. This is because the rental board gave different priority to different categories of cases. Rent non-payment cases, uh, or effectively eviction cases, are only submitted by landlords and are systematically prioritized by the rental board. Uh, the average waiting time for this sort of file is uh, 1.4 months. On the other hand, uh, cases that are brought by tenants for things like vermin, mold, repairs, etc., are all placed in what we call the general civil case category. And the average waiting time for this category is 20.7 months. Uh, so we can see, of course, that there is a, a systematic prioritization of, of landlord priorities at the rental board and that the rental board has effectively become a clearinghouse for evictions. Even worse, the lack of available information and how cases are classified leaves tenants with the impression that their lives are valued less than landlords. This lack of information is so systemic as to be almost misinformation. But we know that all housing problems are serious and destabilizing in all aspects of a person's life. So it's not easy for us tenants to take the landlord to the rental board because it takes years before they will give their decision. But if the landlord takes the tenants to court, it takes only a few weeks and they will render the decision. It's really disappointing that I am paying my rent every month and I'm suffering from this kind of situation, horrible situation that every time I came home, it was like flood in the kitchen all the time. At Project Genesis and in community groups across Quebec, we see tenants every day who are caught in these totally untenable and terrible situations. The waiting times are extremely demoralizing for tenants. After having worked up the courage to take their dossier to the rental board to face their landlord, after having found the 70 plus dollars that it costs to open a file, they are left in legal limbo waiting without knowing how long the waiting time will be before their hearing is scheduled. The ombudsman, Madame Raymond de St. John, finds the situation worse. Although it is not in the ombudsman's mandate to comment on the decision of a rental board judge, she remains troubled by the rental board's ability to render justice within a reasonable delay. To both, the waiting times have gotten worse over the years, both for all tenants.
the discrepancy between waiting times for a landlord with rent, non-payment cases and tenants with general civil cases has intensified over the years. Now the waiting time for tenants are at their absolute worst. Housing rights organizations have been fighting these long wait times for many years with very clear demands. We ask that all cases be heard on a first-come, first-served basis within three months. We also ask that for cases that impact health and security, for urgent cases, the hearings take place within 72 hours. So far, the Quebec government has refused to make these structural changes necessary. But if you join your voice doors, the rights of tenants will become impossible to ignore. Waiting, waiting, always waiting. Well done.